top of the morning to you. It's the 29th of March 2024 and I think it's about time of the day is it? Uh, yeah, it's coming up to 10 o'clock and I'm on the walkway on Bangor Main Street County Down and I'm looking from the, uh, the bridge area over the marina fun fair over there and uh, Pierre and Jetty Eisenhower Pier out there where he waved goodbye to all the ships heading off to the D-Day landings because uh, this is one of the assembly points and it was uh, certainly one of the assembly points for the American troops heading off thousands and thousands of American troops stationed in Northern Ireland prior to D-Day There's a big car park area and uh, this is the uh, dilapidated seafront area and they're all, all a stack of pods and you know selling crafts and stuff in here just opposite me but uh, they have all been removed because this is all going to be refurbished and rebuilt how they're going to do it I'm not quite sure but there's something over here that I want you to see there's quite a bit of a new street art um, and anger Bangor's a city now, would you believe? But, uh, in my opinion, it certainly doesn't warrant that. But, there you go. I'll just get myself down these steps. There's just something across the street I want you to see. That's a wee piece of street art. Uh, done about a month ago. Quite a bit of street art here. And there's newly commissioned street art further on round and I've videoed most of it. But this is a piece I want to, want to home in on here. And it's Gerald Butler. Gerald Butler, the actor, <laughs> and uh, after he heard about this piece being here, he actually came down, he was uh, filming in Belfast and Northern Ireland and all the rest of it, and he was filming here, uh, what was the film called, that he's doing, um, How to Train Your Dragon I believe. He's a Scottish actor, and he was in the uh, the 300. Uh, was, uh, is that the the Spartans? I think it was. And he was in uh, Olympus Has Fallen. He was in. Uh, and he will be in How to Train Your Dragon. And he was in P.S. I Love You. And this piece was painted well, about six weeks ago by uh, a guy called Josie Pops and there's his tag name and his real name is uh, Johnny Hamilton and Johnny Hamilton <laughs> uh, painted this <laughs> uh, representation of uh, Gerald Butler uh, in order to hopefully attract Gerald Butler to Bangor and it, it worked. Gerald Butler came here I believe with his two nieces, not too sure, and uh, it was actually a picture of him kissing 
the uh, the portrait. And unfortunately, Josie Pops or Johnny Hamilton was away off to Australia and didn't meet the man while he while he was here. Isn't that isn't that good? <laughs> nice wee story. Gerald Butler, a tough, 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 uh, tough guy in the 300 anyway. And there's another one by Josie Pops here. I'll just uh, Josie Pops art. Well, he's got his own website and all the rest of them. I looked him up. There's another one by him. Um, somebody, somebody tell me who this guy is, because I don't recognise him. Terrific artist. And when Gerald Butler heard that this uh, piece of artwork, portrait, had been done, he, uh, he made his way down to Bangor to be photographed beside it. Can anybody tell me who this guy is? Because I don't know. I don't watch hardly any films, any modern films. So I don't know who this boy is. But uh, Josie Pops or Johnny Hamilton is some operator. <laughs> A guy who got Gerald Butler to come to Bangor. Not good. Could be story. Okey doke.